Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel ER Rajesh Nayak. Today I will guide you that how we can configure Hawaii ONT. Let's check. Its IP is 192.168.100.1. Press enter. Here it is the model number of Hawaii HG8346R. Here to ask you the username and password. Its uh, account name is Telecom Admin T E L E C O M A D M I N, and password is Admin Telecom. Just click on login. After login, some kind of interface will be shown in front of you. That is status, win, LAN, IPv6, WLAN, security, root. Power rules, network application, voice, and system tools. Here we go. That how we can configure a PPOE account in this. I have already made an account. So first of all, I am going to delete this. The account is clear right now. Here you can see. You will see after login on when settings some kind of screen will shown in front of you. Just click on new and choose PPPOE. Select type here protocol type is IPv4. WAN mode is route WAN. Service mode is internet and enable VLAN. It should be tick or check mark should be there when your ISP has provided you some kind of VLAN ID. VLAN ID is that kind of ID by which your unique port will be defined. So I don't have any kind of VLAN ID so I will uncheck this here it will ask you the MRU MRU should be 1492 or 1500 or here is the range it define in front of you that is 121540 that could be anything else what would be suitable to you but most preferable MRUs are 1492 or 1500 here Put your username, whatever your ISP has given to you. That is test and password, whatever your ISP has given to you. Put over here. Now, what to do? You just click on. LCP detection enable binding options LAN 1, LAN 2, LAN 3, LAN 4, and on SSID 1 also. And authentication mode should be just like this here the NAT type, the NAT type should be full con NAT, and after that, dialing method should be automatic, and multicast villain ID could be. 124094 if you have ISP has provided you anything else or if your ISP hasn't given you anything VLAN ID so you need not to be put over here and it is it so click on apply on this here guys here you can see My run configuration thought is ready. If you want to check, click on this. We have made such kind of settings in this. Now, after that, go to LAN settings. Click on LAN 1, LAN 2, LAN 3, and LAN 4. To using ONTs or LAN ports. If you will click on 
only single land you can use only land one port if you will click on land one land two then you can use only two land ports but here we will click over all ports so here we can use all land ports DHCP what should be the DHCP address DHCP starting range should be here you can see it's 2 to 254 but we will change this we will make this 100 to 200 it's more than enough 100 users can be connected click on apply now after this go to security then go to ONT access control configuration here you can see these settings are for ISP if you have any kind of issue in your device then your ISP can access your device and can help you easily that what the mistake you have done in your device if you have done any kind of mistake so click on all ports here and then click on apply after clicking all these ports your ISP can easily view all your settings whatever you have made changes in that OMT now check its time but what is the time because many of persons has complained me that my Wi-Fi is not working properly I can't use Wi-Fi because uh, sometimes it's working sometimes it's not so what you have to do you have to do check first what is the time settings just go to time settings here you can find two things automatically synchronize the network time server click over this go to this then click on others then others and put over here the Indian time server June what we have to do we have to put here Indian time server June what is the Indian time server June address here I will guide you let's watch it please wait so guys I have found the Indian time server June what we have to do we have to put over here okay, I got uh, disconnected from that one login again telecom admin admin telecom it's showing that we have already been connected so we have to wait for one minute after that we will do the configuration please wait so guys we are back we have completed uh, almost one minute click over here username password oh yes we got connected now what we have to do we have to change the time settings go to time settings click over here automatically synchronize go to others because here isn't the Indian time server zone so I have found the Indian time server zone here you can see the Indian time server zone that is 0.1.2.ntp.org we will have to copy this and paste it over here you have paste it and again should paste it over here and change this 0 to 1 and change the time zone server please find the Indian server the time zone should be 
according to India that here you can find Chennai, Kolkata, Mumbai, New Delhi. Let's click over here. When then should be internet RVID what we have made account for our PPOE connection. Let's choose over here and click on apply. Here our time zone settings are perfect. Now the question is what the person complaining that a Wi-Fi is working for some time or not that the problem should not be come after making such kind of settings in that so what we have to do now we have to be just reboot this on the for one time click on the restart it will tell you that unsafe data will lost. I if you want to restart if the first click on OK. It will easily the restart. So guys, here I have completed my video that how we can configure Huawei HGH346R ONT router. So by using all the settings you can easily configure your ONT. If you have any kind of issue, you can comment me on my comment section. Thank you to watch my video. If this video is helpful to you, please press like and press the bell icon and subscribe my channel. Thank you to watch my video.